What is that? That's the actual sofa she was lying on. Okay. So this is the couch that you're talking about that Destiny was lying on that night when she was shot. Correct. And you believe that couch looks high, tall, seat part of it. Sure. And in that video of the walkthrough, you and the ward bar are standing beside it, it comes up about to your knees. Okay, I'll agree with you. It's an average couch. It's a normal couch. So why was it necessary to talk about how high the couch was? Sir, it's a normal couch. Right. Well, talking about how high it was made the story sound less likely that Gavin could have shot her. You know what? Again, how many versions did she give us? I'm not asking you about how many versions she gave you. I'm asking you about the versions you gave. I did not believe her son was capable of shooting his sister. How in the world can a two-year-old child know where a gun is, go get a gun, drag a stool? That, that, this is all the, my thought process. So are you I'm telling me that as a homicide investigator, you are not aware of the multiple times a year that small children get guns and shoot people with it? Ha it's happened, absolutely. So it's happened. Why are you acting so shocked that a two-year-old could get a gun and shoots on the line. It's just not believable. Sir, you've seen the interview. I'm not going to tell you to put your, you do this for a living, I do it for a living. You're, def, you're a criminal defense attorney. I disagree with you. She's, she was lying and being dishonest. I, I'm trying to understand and comprehend this mess. And so you thought that you would get more truth from her if you lied and were dishonest? Sir, I, I, don't, I don't know that I lied to her. I disagree with you. That's misrepre misrepresentation of my words. You told her the couch was too high for him to be able okay, to do Okay, I did say that. And now, oh, you did. And now you say I, I'm just, it didn't for, happen. It's a normal couch. For a conversation, I'm going to agree with you because it's going to be an argument. It's, oh, no, it's no, a normal no, couch. Don't agree with me because you no, don't it's, want it's, an, it's, a, it's a normal couch, Is sir. This a normal couch it's a run? normal couch. Yeah. So yes, you sir. Win, you said it was yes, too sir. High for this I agree with you. Gavin, you were I agree, sir. I was not. I did not have any intent to lie to this young lady. I'm not trying to put anything in her head besides get the truth. How do you have to put things in people's head to get them to tell the truth, sir? We're investigating the death of her five-year-old little girl. I know, and you, and you know that no matter how many times you say that, it doesn't change anything, right? Absolutely. It right. doesn't change things in your mind. Right. No, it doesn't. We're talking about what was said, why, and how. Sure. And we're talking about who was the fibber in this interview, and I'm telling you, you didn't come off too good on the fibber scale either, did you? Sir, are you calling me a liar? Yes, sir. Okay, then I disagree with you. When you're talking to a individual, I know you haven't had any training about how to deal with people with PTSD or stress. In that interview, you all would ask her about what kind of gun it was, right? Correct. Was it one like we carry, or was it one of those with a round thing on it? I, I think, think it was, I don't know. I think Investigator Warlaw said a wheel gun. Right. And then said, you know, like in the movies, the ones they use for Russian roulette. Remember that? If that's what he said, I. Is that what he said or me? If that's what I said, then I agree with you. Sir, if that's what I said, then oh, I no, agree. I don't want you just to agree with me for the sake of agreeing with me. Oh, I, let's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm confused about what the question actually is. Well, we'll get to it. We'll clear it up for you. He's got uh, back to the interview. <laughs> Let me uh, let me ask you why we're why we're here. I don't know. I don't she, know. He's got, he goes to the power auction. Oh. She has told you that she's nervous being in that room because she was raped by a police officer, right? Yes, sir. You and Wardlaw both heard that. Yes, sir. Right. And so that's when you you start out yelling and screaming at her, and then a little while later we, you you kind of work through the process, and we arrive at this moment on the video, in the interview. Where you're talking about this 300 and what color it is. Oh, the high car park, Clinton Highway, and buys cars. We're pretty certain it's white. <laughs> but you know it was in there. And he had a hat on. Do you I know? don't know. Because we 
We've got witnesses. What was he wearing? He had a black shirt. Did he have a black hat on? Did he say anything to you? Did you ever see him when you first got home? No. You think he might have been? You think he really was following you? I think that he was just watching. I think you're right. I think the video is going to tell us that he was probably. Now, we're all friends again because she's agreed with you that it's probably Antoine, right? And are you asking me how we got to the point this may be domestic related? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, we'll get to that. At this point in the interview, you're no longer yelling and screaming at her because she's agreed with you guys. At this point, I don't know what to believe. For you to come home. We knew this is domestic. And we figured the whole time that you're in. You're scared. We understand it. We just don't want you to lie to us. You know what's more? You're okay. You're okay. You lost the baby. Come here. Come here, sweetie. Come on. Now, given that she has told you she's uncomfortable because there's two male police officers in the room and she was raped by a male police officer 18 months before, did you think this was an appropriate act? I will. I, I can't speak for uh, for investigators. Speak for him. Is that an appropriate act? That's a consoling act to me. Consoling act. We were concerned about the five-year-old little girl. This is tragic, any way you look right. at it, sir. I'm talking about the young woman who was in your room. She looks like she's pretty receptive of it. She didn't back away. How many guns was she wearing? How many guns was she wearing? There are two guns in that room, and we never threatened her with a gun. No, but you have two male officers in the room, and she's just explaining to you she was raped by a cop, and that makes her scared. So one of them decides hugging her might be a good idea, right? If that's what he did. And if that's what he did? Yeah. What the heck would you call that? Sir, he hugged her. I will agree with you. Now, and then at the end of this interview, you go through her purse, right? And, and Wardlaw goes through the purse. I'm standing by. Yes, sir. You go, she's got a bunch of pill bottles in there. People have pill bottles all the time. Well, they're for her prescription, right? Sir, if you're asking me, did I know she was diagnosed with PTSD? No, no, what, what, yes, sir. I'm asking you, it went through her purse, right? Yes, sir. She had lots of pill bottles. Sure. One of them, you ask her what they ask, you ask what it's for, and she says, I have shingles. Is that what Wardlaw asked her, or did I ask her that? I think Wardlaw asked her okay. while you're standing there. Okay, if that's what he asked, sure. And you said what? what? You got shingles and you let him hug on you? Yeah, okay, I, I did young say that. Child. Yes, he does have young children. Who hugged on who? He. Why are you giving her a hard time about having shingles when Wardlaw takes a rape victim and decides to hug her in an emotional moment in an interview? Investigator Warlaw hugged her, so we will agree with that. And you jumped on her for allowing him to do that when she had shingles. I think it Building was... Building rapport again? Did, did I jump on her? Can we watch it? Am sure. I laughing? I, I don't understand what you're... Sure. What, I, mean, I don't think I jumped on her. I don't understand her. either, officer. We, we, that's, that's the one point we I, do I think we're getting agree. some mischaracterizations here. I think I laughed about it and said, why would you... Let him hug or her hug on each other. However, I described it. What happened?
the code? Step out, please. All rise. 